Hey there, how are you doing? Welcome to day 51 of Mendel's Luscious Limberings. Hope you had a fantastic break, nice and calm and restful. We're into a new era of the Limberings, which is the 50s. So that's a thing. Uh, so I think we should uh, get on and do some, some movement. What do you reckon? So today, being the first day of the, the weekly series, we're going to be doing some general mobility, a bit of conditioning, just moving everything around, drawing up our slippers. Uh, Rupert the cat is stalking the lounge room. He wants to go outside and he thinks he's starving. I assure you his bowls are full. It's just that the food's been, yes, on cue. The, it, it's been, the food's been in the atmosphere for about two to three hours, which um, apparently makes it toxic. So he may or may not contribute or look longing, longingly at the door. Um, great, good stuff. So let's get the playlist. Ready? You can have that. I'm going to take that as a yes. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Be hip with the butt. That. And we're just going to roll the head, Mr. Squiggle Nose style. So while I'm doing this, I'm softening through the knees. Releasing the belly, lifting up through the back of the head, sinking down through the butt. And the Mr. Squiggle Nose is doing a perfect circle on the wall in front of us. Change directions and unclench your butt cheeks. Keep breathing. Breathing is good. Breathing is vital. Try and keep this perfect. So no little hexagons or octagonals, octagonal shapes. All right, turning to the one side, draw a squiggle nose circle on that side. Unclench your butt, soften the belly, and relax the tension through the thighs. Keep on that side, just change direction of the circle. I invite you to keep breathing. Good, changing around to the other side. And a perfect circle on that wall. Soften through the jaw as well. And the other way. Good, back to front. And to start to loosely ease up through the arms. Well, I turn down my music slightly. Good, and getting a nice knee bend through. Try and bend backwards as well as forwards. So by that I mean don't just lean over into the balls of your feet. Send the butt cheeks out a little bit behind you as you bounce. Each time as you warm up and get a little bit bigger. Good, putting one foot in front and just doing a circle, but I'm doing this by pushing through the floor with my feet. So I'm driving through the heel of the front foot, the ball of the front foot, sorry, and that's sending my arm backwards. Now change it, so I'm gonna drive through the heel of the back foot and let that momentum send the arm around. Making sure your knee and your toe are both aligned, so not this, this. And changing arms, going backwards and pushing off the ball of the front foot. Really getting a deep connection with the ground, relaxing through the shoulders so the arm just goes of its own accord. Well, not its own accord, from the momentum generated by the feet. Change direction. Through the heel of the back foot, relax. Good, feet back to hip width. And bend, lifting up to the head and turning through the hips. So the hips and the shoulders are turning. Arms are soft. Don't let there be any side to side movement. So by this, I mean that. Just want to keep straight on the central axis. Really relax over the tops of the shoulders. All right, now keep the hips and the head facing forwards. 
just rotating through the shoulders. Good, and shoulders squeezing up and down with a knee bend, squeeze up and down. Good, roll the wrist forward and keep going. It's like, what have I done? What? Good, and back to this faster now. Really getting that connection with the floor. Driving now with the arms as well, bend the arms. And get a nice stretch across the back and the pecs. And back to long arms again. Two and in a circle. One, two, circle. Now, keep the arms nice and light. That's how we go fast. Otherwise, you do yourself an injury. If you tend to try and go quicker, it won't help. All you do is lock up the arms. Two more. What's this coordination shit, hey? All right, good. I know for some of you, this is your favorite. Rupert likes it so much, he's walking over there. So that's the only energetic part, that bit. Then turn off the arm, let it swing, bend at the elbow to come up in front of the face. Changing arms. That was one of the best changes, changeovers I've ever done. Things you'll learn in lockdown, hey? Now, as you do this, feel like it's extending further and further out from the sternum and the, the spine. So the muscles underneath the shoulder blades are lengthening out. All right, let's give it a bell going for two. Soften the knees. Let the coccyx sink down towards the floor. Now, I'm going to let you, well, ask you if you want to just um, let the body move with it. So rather than just isolating the arms, I actually want it to create a ripple effect through the body. Good, all right, just walking through the feet. Easing them through. Tom Hodgson style, we're going to roll the wrists as the legs come up and down. And down. Harder than what you want it to be, isn't it? And up. And down. And now star hands. And down. Keep breathing. Doesn't make it easy if you hold your breath. All right, sparks, alternate. Try and keep the leg going at the same time. Good, all right, squeezing down from the traps. So squeeze between the shoulder blades. Squeeze. So I'm drawing the shoulder blades together behind the back. You wouldn't want to squeeze them together in front of your back. That'd be weird. Squeeze and up. Squeeze and turning into a row. So we squeeze. So even though I'm going between the shoulder blades, I'm not doing this. I'm actually letting the shoulder joints sink down. And I'm squeezing between the shoulder blades. Keep going. Love it. Squeeze. Good. All right. Going low. And reach. Nice and light. Shifting from the center. And reaching out with one hand and the other. Don't strain against this movement. Keep it relaxed. One more round. Really start to open up now through the hips. Feel like you're connecting to the floor. Go diagonal. So now I'm stretching from the heel all the way to the tip of the hands. There's no rise and fall through the head. 
And just letting that push through the floor, express itself through the arms to the fingertips. And back to horizontal. You can go a little wider now on your feet if you feel like you're feeling warmed up. All right, take some of the juice off and start to go down towards the floor. Take your time. And as you start to warm up, get yourself a little bit lower down to the ground. Don't stretch it, don't strain it. All right, now turn the arms to windmills. Good, settle that down. Just pop out one hip slowly, then the other. A little bit of a twist with the rib cage as you do this. Good, bend the knees, rolling up the spine. Pushing up and down. Use the push of the legs to be what brings the arms up, then drop them. So you can control them to put them in front of your nose, but other than that, you're just letting gravity do the work. Really pushing through the floor. All right, let's see if we can go double time. bit hard with the music actually, just go a little faster. Ignore the music, my music. Maybe it works with your music. You're welcome. Good, reaching up, nice and wide. And sending the butt behind you. And ringing through the shoulders. Relax down, bending the knees and straighten. And repeat. Keep going and straighten. Good. Bend the knees now, rolling up through the spine. And we're going to go up and touch the floor or the shin or whatever you can reach but I'm not really doing much of a weight shift here you don't have to have your legs as wide as me if you want good staying up I'm gonna massacre a few yoga moves If you want to learn yoga proper, go to someone who teaches yoga. Reaching up. And going down. Look forward and lengthen. And back down. Breathe in to look forward and lengthen again. Back down. Breathe in to roll up for four. And down. And again, breathing in. Rolling down. Breathe in to look forward and lengthen. Breathe out to go down. Breathe in to walk into a high plank. Two, three, four. Breathing out to go down. Push up, hold it there. Breathing in to come up. Two, three, four, breathing out to go back down. Breathing in to put your butt in the air into a child's pose and just hang out there for a sec. Good, breathe out. Breathe in to go into an upward dog. And just hang there for a sec.
to breathe naturally, of course. Tuck the toes under, lift your butt towards the ceiling into a down dog. Just take your own time here if you want to walk through the feet or just hold it. Do what works well for you today. Good. Walking the hands into the feet. Breathe into a cord and lengthen. Coming down, breathing out, breathing in to roll up. So we're going to roll through that on a count of four. Just roll the shoulders to resettle. Breathing in. Oh no, I should need you to stop. Hold that thought. <laughs> Oh, that's not that good. Well, we, we, your music's different, possibly. Let's do this. Breathing in. Breathing out, coming down. Breathe in to look forward, lengthen. And down. Two. Breathing in to a high push up. Two, three, four. Breathing out, going down. Breathing in, going up. Breathing out, going down. Breathing into a child's pose. Breathing out into an upward dog. Breathing into a downward dog. Breathing out to walk the hands in. Breathing in to look forward and lengthen. And down. Rolling up. And down, straight back into it again. Breathing in, going up. Breathing out, going down. Breathing in, look forward and lengthen. Breathing out, go down. Breathing in to a high push up. Two, three. Breathing out, going down. Two, three. Breathing in, going up. Two, three. Breathing out, going down. Breathing in to a child pose. Breathing out into an upward dog. Breathing in to a downward dog. Breathing out, rock the hands in. Breathing in, look forward and lengthen. Breathing out, going down. Breathing in, rolling up. One more time. Breathing in, arms go up. Breathing out, go down. In, look forward and lengthen. In, out, go down. In, for a high push up. Two, three, four, breathing out, go down. Breathing in, going up. Breathing out, go down. Two, three. Breathing in, child's pose. Breathing out, upward dog. Breathing in, downward dog. Stay there. Walking through the feet. And go double time, walking through the feet. Lifting the butt. And since we're here, let's just encourage those feet to go a little bit further forward and just maybe put ourselves down into a plank. Oh, I'm just doing dinky little ones here, it's nothing too big. Good, hold that. Stepping out, we're going to go left, right, left, right, and then right, left. Again with the left foot. Left, right, left, right, right, left. One more time. Left, right, left. Right, right, left, and right, left, right, left. Oh, I've done extra times. That's okay. It's a character building. Stay there. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right, there you go. <laughs> Into a child's pose. Good. Into all fours. And sinking down through the shoulder blade, down, pushing back up, and down. Use the breath. Nice work. Okay, flattening off of the spine, I'm just going to raise one leg up and down, donkey kicks up. Make sure you're pulling the belly button into the spine, drawing the shoulder blades in together.
stay on that leg. And what we're gonna do is gonna go out and in. Just make sure you don't scrape your um, knee on the ground as you come through or your foot. Now, rather than swing it up, try and explode it back. Last one. Good stuff. Just roll out those wrists and the shoulders. Gonna go through to the other side. So remember, we've got the three stages. Starting off with the basic donkey kicks. Off we go. Just raise the heel up and back down. Belly button in. Shoulder blades drawn together. Just imagining you're pushing a button on the ceiling with your heel. Good, now the extension. Knee goes forward into a swing up. So what I'm doing is I'm going back first with the foot then swinging it up. Great, and now I'm gonna explode straight up so there's no swing, this goes up. Only go as high as you feel comfortable, of course. You know the rules. Keep yourself safe. Good, from here, just gonna go forwards and back. If that hurts your wrist, don't go too far. Or don't do it. <laughs> Good. From here, leg going out to the side. Other side. Back to the first side. And change again. We're going to stay here and we're going to go up, side, and in. Up, side. Make sure you're looking forward of your mat. And reverse the direction. So we're going side, up, and down. Side, one. Just rolling back, roll through the shoulders and the wrists. Good. Other side. Up, side and down. And changing direction. Side, up and down. Down, side, one more. Good work. Roll it back to the end of your mat just to roll through the shoulders. Good stuff. It's great, isn't it? Good to be alive. Yeah. All right, coming back up to all fours. Just nice and light. Just want you to wiggle the butt. And now drawing through our cat cows with reaching up. And back down. Back up. And down. Two more. Breathing in. Going up. And down. Last one. Then go back to neutral. Tuck the toes under. Come up onto your toes. And we're going to go two steps forward, two steps back. I'll let you just rest for a sec. Now you know what's coming. And back up again. Here we go, try and keep the back level. One, two, and back. So you wanna try and keep this as smooth as possible so you're controlling the movements the whole way through. And again. Good. 
good. Hold it there. Pull the toes, the fingers into the knees. Just to make yourself shake a little more. You're off it. Go down. On your back. Nothing bad can happen with your back. Said no one. Ever. <laughs> Alright. And bridges up. So up. Two. Hands can be either here or here or here. So sending the pelvis away to go up. Good. Just take the legs further away, the hamstring bridges, and we're going up and down. We're going a little bit quicker. Up, two, down, two, up, two, down. Keep going, sending the pelvis away. Should be feeling it in the backs of the legs. If you're not, take your feet further out away from you. Good. Just bring the knees to the legs straight up. And push them down, small to back into the floor. Hold it. Arms out if you'd like. If not, don't. Bring the knees in. Legs straight up. Straight up. Hold it. Back into the floor. Bend. Going up. And up. And we're going to do little kicks here. If you want to increase the workload, take your shoulder blades off the floor. Keep kicking. It's going to bring the hands down. Then back up again. Then hands to the side. And back up. One more time. Hands straight down. And down, back, and back. Bring the knees in. Good. Rolling around. And just coming into a down dog again. Working through the heels, lifting the butt towards the ceiling. Good. Walk the hands, the feet into the hands, sorry. Keeping them straight. Bend the knees, rolling up through the spine. Good. Back and back. And just going into some chicken backstroke. You can get a little bit of a weight shift if you want. Let's go double time. Keep going. Okay, half time, going forwards. If you want, get some weight shift going. Double time. Bend around over like you're trying to dig your elbows into the floor. Good, staying here. Stepping side to side. Keeping low, hands at the front. Don't hunch over like this. The back side is straight towards the back. Feeling good with this? Take it behind. Okay, so you're going to go behind and kick. Behind and kick. You're lucky the music about to change, so oh, get double time. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, changing feet. Sorry, I always assume it runs on my playlist. I know you're not all with me. I've got Cat Empire playing at the moment. Four, five, six. Seven, eight. Good, we're gonna go faster and we go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. All right, just facing the wall. We've got walls around us, sorry. Facing that wall. Okay, standing on one leg. As far as you feel comfortable, reach down, touch the floor or your shins, or if you need to bend, that's fine. And then come back up again, but try as much as possible, keep that leg straight, going down, touch, back up. Now try and concentrate on just keeping yourself as stable as possible through that movement. Clearly you have to find a flat bit of floor. And change feet. <laughs> Good. Back to the first leg again. Arms out to the side. And one. Two. Three. Four, four more, five, six, seven, stay on that leg, reach down and back up. One more time. Good stuff, changing legs. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay on that leg. Going down, touch the floor, back up. One more time, going down, back up. Good work. Shake it up. You're a legend. Legs wide. Reaching up, go down. And just let yourself swing from side to side, nice and easy. Just take yourself over to the left leg. Let the chest go upwards and forwards as you just lower yourself down. And across to the other leg. Bend the knees, rolling up just to halfway, elbows in, shoulders in. Technically your elbows are also in, but let's all agree it's not the main directive, is it? Hands up, end of my playlist. Press the hands above the head, soften the knees, and just doing a gentle circle with the thorax, taking all the tension out of the body. Nice and easy. Perfect circle on the ceiling, as if you could have a, a pencil, not Mr. Squiggle's pencil, that would be awkward, um, but just a pencil between your fingers, and you're drawing a perfect circle on the ceiling. Just change direction and your head would be the dead center of that circle. So make sure you're not looping too far forwards. Moderate the forwards movement so that it matches how far you can go on the back. Just dropping up here, arms. Wow, anatomy is not my strong point today. And circle. Again, drawing a perfect circle on the ceiling. Nice and easy, keep breathing, keep the jaw soft. Um, encourage the butt cheeks. Go the other way. And just to finish off, you know I said this a few times before we actually finish. Uh, <laughs> pick up the toes, turn them up just gently. Nothing too extreme, just sinking into 
Nice stretch. Make sure the knee doesn't go further than the toe. Lifting up tall through the head. Relax the shoulders down. The shoulder blades are sliding down your back, reaching from fingertip to fingertip. Feel like you're working from the outside leg of the foot on this foot, lifting up through that leg. The weight is on the ball of the foot in the front. Equalize between the ball of the foot on the big toe and the little toe. Got all that? <laughs> and come back. Empty this foot. Don't lock the knee. Just have it slightly bent. Pick up the toes, turn them back in. Swap it around. Same again, relax the shoulder blades down. Lifting up through the top of the head. Working from the outside blade of the back foot. Balancing it on the heel, the ball of the front foot. And coming back up, walk the feet back in, circle through the shoulders, and just to actually finish off, reaching up as tall as you can, just turning off my thingy, technical term that, reaching from one side to the other, just a few stretches, reaching up, come up into your toes, reach as far as you can, Touch the walls on either side of the room. Shoulder blades down your back. Relaxing all the muscles. Don't have to tense a lot of the muscles for this. Just find the balance. That's it. And then keeping that weight slightly forwards, just arms down and settle yourself down, rolling down to the spine. And to shake it all out, work through the shoulders, do what you need to do. Let the head be super heavy. And then you're either going to breathe out as you roll up or expel the air and then breathe in from the coccyx up, inflating the spine as you go. Lovely. Yay. Time went fast again. How does it do that? I don't understand. Last day of May today, uh, yeah, I hope not all of you are following this on, on um, no, well for me it's the last day of May today. Uh, I record this the day before, just so you know, because <laughs> it takes a long time to upload them. Uh, so June, tomorrow, that's exciting. Day 51, done. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're getting through. I'm sending you all of my love and I hope that you are good. Ah, oh, there's no words left. Lots of love. Bye.